I often stood by the railing and watched the ice as we were breaking the ice. Because the forces are enormous. Often I would think to myself that, ah, oh, it would be great to go out on the ice and just feel how it is, you know, step onto it. But at the same time, you would have been compromised as soon as you got your foot out there. While we steam along and break ice, uh, we're continuously making observations of the atmosphere and on the surface seawater. We build the seawater intakes, we pump surface seawater into the laboratory, so we do a lot of measurements and sam sampling. We also continuously use acoustic signals, sound signals, down into the sediment. This is just as we steam along. Then we stop the ship, and uh, during leg one, we stop the ship on, on the order of uh, 70 times at so-called oceanographic stations. And at those times then, we do a detailed sampling of the sediment and of the whole water column at different depths. We had the, uh, something called a CTD, which is a, a big rosette of many, middle, many small bottles where you get seven liters of water. And you send this down to different depths and you pick up water. We're looking for the things that come from land, really. Little particles, things that plant material. And in these things we can see how degraded they are, where they've come from, which permafrost area. Um, but of course it was challenging at times. You know, we had ice drifting into the wire, drifting around where we wanted to put things in the water. And of course, you, we invented different things to, to take the ice away. So we had long, really long boat hooks, you know, to actually manually scuff it away. The Spheros C3 program is a Swedish, Russian, US Arctic Ocean investigation of climate cryosphere carbon interactions. Key questions in today's climate research. It builds on a decade-long collaboration between Russian and Swedish scientists. This key region for this is the East Siberian Arctic Ocean. I mean, the general question in, in for all of this is sort of what is happening up there in the Arctic? Why, what do we ha have when the world gets warmer and normally you have degradation? And this could potentially lead to greenhouse gases. And we want to see how fast this goes, where it happens and to what extent. Not so surprising to us, we, we, we found uh, highly elevated methane levels in the seawater and um, there were bubbles through the whole water column of methane in, in many regions. I'm very pleased with the overall outcome of the expedition. Observations and samples have been taken that will now be a gold mine for us uh, all in, this, in these collaborations to, to address these, these uh, research questions that we have.